it has been a bad week for the Russian aerospace forces. Uh, first, they lost three modern Su-34 fighter bombers in the Kherson region. And then they lost another Su-34 around Mariupol. And then they lost also an Su-30 fighter jet over the Black Sea. Uh, that is a very high number of aircraft losses in one week. So let's talk about it. We don't know for sure what happened and how Ukraine was able to shoot down these aircraft, but the general idea is this one. Uh, Russia has been using a very high number of uh, airdrop glide bombs against the Ukrainians. Essentially, these are sort of dumb, unguided bombs that have been modified so that they have been equipped with, uh, with some wings and uh, a satellite guidance system, and then they can glide toward the target. So this is not super accurate, but uh, it will land s sort of in the vicinity of where they're intended to go. And because these bombs are very big, then uh, they are also a big problem for the Ukrainians, even if they're not very accurate. The biggest one is the uh, FAP 1500, which has almost 700 kilograms of explosives. So that's a very big bomb. Um, but the Russian aircraft cannot go very close to the front line because they're afraid of the Ukrainian air defense. Uh, so what they do instead is that they go up to a very high altitude and then the dro they drop the bombs from there. Uh, so that's an altitude of maybe 12 kilometers. And when, uh, when the bomb is dropped from that altitude, then it can also glide very far. And that means that the Russians can, uh, can drop the bomb about 50 kilometers behind the front line. The downside for the Russians is that because the Earth is round, when you get to that kind of altitude, then you also get above the radar horizon um, on a very big distance. So the Ukrainians can see the aircraft with their radars. Um, that was not really a problem for the Russians as long as the Ukrainians only had short and medium range air defense on the front line. Uh, the Ukrainians can see the aircraft, but it cannot shoot at it before it drops the glide bomb and it turns away. Um, but the moment the Ukrainians have long range air defense, then these Russian aircraft are easy targets. And apparently that is what happened this week. Uh, suddenly you, the Ukrainians have air defense missiles that can fire on that distance. So uh, a Russian aircraft is no longer safe even though it's 50 kilometers behind the front line, if it ascends to that kind of altitude where it can drop a glide bomb. What most people speculate is that Ukraine has used the Patriot air defense to achieve this effect. Uh, Ukraine has these systems and they have a very long range, so it's possible. They are mostly used to protect the big cities against missiles, but back in May, we did see an incident where Ukraine moved a Patriot battery very close to the front line and they made a trap where they shot down a whole bunch of Russian jets and helicopters in one day. So it's possible that this is what we see. The Patriot missiles actually have a range that is so big that it doesn't even have to get very close to the front line. Like Ukraine can do this, uh, they, they can keep it like 50 kilometers behind the front line and still hit the Russian aircraft when they ascend to drop a glide bomb. So it's definitely possible that what we have seen this week is that Ukraine has made a couple of these Patriot traps. But I will say that the first time when they shot down those three Su-34s in the Kherson region, then it seemed likely that it was a Patriot trap. But then when they did it again a few days later in a different region much further east, then maybe I would say that it, it's maybe less likely because I would think that after a sort of a successful stint on the front line, the Patriot battery would probably be pulled back to its original task of defending a city and moving it so far east that it can hit a plane over Mariupol would mean driving it very far in the opposite direction. So it does raise some questions about whether that is actually what is happening. And that leads to the second possibility, because another way that Ukraine can have access to long range air defense missiles that could do this would be F-16. If Ukraine has F-16s with AMRAAM missiles, then they could take out those Russian jets on that kind of distance. And earlier this week, the Dutch government announced that they are almost ready to deliver the first batch of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. They're just sort of a few bureaucratic procedures left and then Ukraine will get 18 F-16s. So that's really soon. And I think the question right now is whether that has already happened, because this is exactly the, this is exactly what a surprise appearance of F-16 on the battlefield would look like. Russian jets just 
suddenly falling out of the sky. And I just want to share a short story about F-16 that I think is interesting because it says something about what this aircraft might do. Um, a while back, I had the opportunity to talk with a couple of Ukrainian helicopter pilots. They fly attack helicopters and we talked about how they work and what their experience was. And I asked them, um, because they were helicopter pilots, I, I asked them whether they thought that the West needs to, to provide Ukraine with modern attack helicopters. So that would be the Apache helicopters. And the answer surprised me actually because uh, they were they were like nah like sure Apache helicopters would be nice like it would be an upgrade and they wouldn't say no if they were offered to get an Apache but what they really wanted was F-16s. They were looking so much forward to this aircraft becoming operational because their biggest problem on the front line is Russian fighter jets that are a constant danger and having a Ukrainian pilot up there in an F-16 to secure the sky would be an absolute game changer for these helicopter pilots. So I think this story shows what difference the Ukrainians expect that F-16 will make on the front line. It will be an enabler for other types of operations uh, on the ground, not because they will participate directly in close air support of the ground forces, but because they will provide that air cover that will allow other types of units to operate more freely, like those helicopter pilots, for example. Because uh, Russian aircraft have become a real problem, so uh, the, the Russians do seem to have the upper hand in the air battle right now, and reducing that danger is something that the Ukrainians themselves believe to be a game changer. So I don't know whether Ukraine has done this with Patriot missiles or with F-16s, I think it's one or the other, although of course it could also be something entirely different, like um, a domestic missile maybe. Uh, maybe we will know by the time this video is out, but either way, I think it's important in the coming time to be aware of the air battle because there are some interesting things happening there. Ukraine is getting more Patriot systems uh, in the coming time and the F-16s are starting to come into service. So uh, I think that may create some important uh, dynamics there on the front line. Okay, I will end it here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time.